Close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And for right now, this is where you want to stay. If any thoughts go wandering off, you don't have to catch them, you don't have to do anything with them at all. You just stay right here. You don't have to be responsible for where they're going. You are responsible for where you're paying attention. So you want to pay attention to how the breathing feels. If gentle breathing is too hard to focus on, breathe heavily for a while. And then after a while you decide heavy breathing is uncomfortable, then you can change. I'm trying to figure out what rhythm of breathing is best right now. This way you start using your discernment right at the very beginning. Sometimes you hear that you do concentration and then magically out of concentration discernment will arise. But you have to have some insight into your own mind before you can get it to settle down. Some insight into the workings of the breath, the workings of the body, as you experience them right now. Because only then that you'll be able to find a good place for the mind to settle down where it's still and alert at the same time. The two major problems are either things get very still and you just start drifting off, and when you come out of the meditation you're not really sure where you were or what you were doing, and your energy level is a little bit down. That's not what we want. The other problem, of course, is your mind is bouncing all over the place and you're running after it to catch it. So what we have is a balance of being still but alert. One of the Thai Johns compared this to being a hunter. You have to sit in one spot very still so you don't scare off the animals. But at the same time, you have to be very alert for the slightest rustle in the leaves, the slightest noise, the slightest indication that the animal you want is coming near. In this case, the animal, of course, is your own mind. You want to be able to see what's going on in the mind clearly, and to do that you have to be very, very still. Otherwise subtle things can move in and move out and you won't see them, because you're also moving around. When everybody's moving around you have no idea of who's moving and who's not. It's only when you're still that you know what's moving, which direction it's going in, and what trouble it's creating. So try to get the mind still and alert right here with the breath. Figure out what level of pressure you want to put on your focus that's going to be just right, what level of energy you want in the breath that's going to be just right. It's getting a sense of just right that's going to make all the difference. <laughs>